Hey Leo, it's Empress Rose here. Welcome to your reading. These are general readings, so we take what works, leave what doesn't, as with everything in life. And um, if I don't catch your storyline on this particular reading, check your other major placements and see if I didn't catch something um, relevant or that resonates in one of those. So we're going to start with um, intuitive uh, idea of where we're going here with Oracle Mystical Moments. We are grateful for the accurate message we are about to receive for Leo. This is another popular card. Yeah, we have these cards that just show up, you know, so many times in a week. It's pretty fascinating. So this card, Stranded, um, you had a great idea. You really thought you were going to go somewhere with it. I think you got this one recently um, also. but. Um, you, you had this great idea, so much enthusiasm, so much excitement. Um, you were really going to show the world that you were a little 12 year old sailor, but you didn't quite know what you were doing. And you ended up someplace where nobody knows where the hell this is. Like, how did you get up here? Nobody knows. You're, you are in a really funky little place here and you don't know how to get that, get out of it. Um, you're kind of waiting for help. There might be a sense of public humiliation here could be a private situation or it could be more of a public situation but we have this rainbow eye I discovered this week back here a sense of protection even in this um, even in this difficult situation a promise of protection that you're going to get out of it but it's so vague it's so faint it's just way back there obviously you can't get out of this situation that's the obvious thing you're stuck you're trapped you're stranded um, this can also be my ghosting card. So if you were dealing with someone and they just kind of left you stranded there, um, this can be part of that too. Uh, but you do have this rainbow eye, this promise um, that it's going to be okay. It's reminding me a little bit of Noah's arc today of just um, maybe maybe some things receded actually and, and you're getting the lay of the land here. I mean, how do you get up here but a giant giant flood and then it recedes and then you're stuck there like so this was this 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 big overwhelming big energy thing uh came through you were excited you were gonna ride that wave you were gonna do that thing and now now it's gone and you're just stranded here you're gonna get out of it we have the rainbow eye but um and there there's you are Mm, what do I want to say? Spirit knows where you are. Spirit knows that this is what's happened. It's very well aware. Help is on the way. It's not incredibly obvious, but help is on the way. And that's one thing we can um, be grateful for. I feel like even when you can't see it, it's important to be grateful for the help that is on the way. Like the, you're going to get out of the situation. <laughs> it's not clear how, but you are. You are. We have a rainbow here. It's a promise. Um, and then we have lullaby. So this is, um, notice he's not actually playing his cello, but this is just that deep resonant um, music of your own, your own soul, your own feelings, your own emotions. I mean, maybe part of the situation is that you got to do some self-reflection here, a lot of self-reflection. We're not looking out at the world. We're not looking outside of ourselves. We're looking just within ourselves here and really seeing what we feel, seeing how we are intuiting things and really listening to the, um, the music, the inner music um, of our own soul, our own vibrations. Um, and I think that that might be part of helping you get out of this is that you got to do a lot of self-reflection here. Um, and then we have this house of flowers. So we have, uh, something that looks very plain and ordinary on the outside, just bursting to life here. Suddenly, um, it's very, you know, it's a, it talks about a beautiful home. It talks about companionship. It talks about love and life and overflowing, uncontainable, um, love and um and and a liveliness i mean this is a little bit of my jane Eyre um card where things on the outside look very very plain but then as things start to open up and and bloom and and burst open and it's very beautiful and there's we've got this really rich interior going on here and it looks like it's going to come out and we're not necessarily going to be able to keep that stuffed in very well the house seems a little isolated on the hill it's also my Emily Dickinson card. Um, 
and uh, and you know she was isolated and and uh, quite a loner and kept things to herself and then and then we discovered she had so much beauty within she had so much talent so it's gonna be popping out but you got to do this this deep intuitive listening to your own vibration getting in touch with your own thing looking within really and then maybe what you find within is this beautiful gorgeous you know um, overflowing with love and life all right we're moving on to moonology here this is a very straightforward deck i'm still a little like i like it but it's a little unsure it's a nice little bold statement in the middle of a lot of sort of intuitive um foggy intuition that i'm i'm working with here yes oh my gosh i wish i would have said that now but um full moon in virgo you are good enough and that's what i was getting with this um and with this like you your your own vibration your own internal life it's good enough it's popping out this is so cool because it was really um as i was preparing to do your reading i was really meditating on that 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 feeling enough that real base chakra work of being being enough um, so you may be feeling inadequate. I mean, you kind of were inadequate to this task. Okay, so we can admit that. We can be like, okay, we didn't have all the skills. We were not very skillful. We were. We had more enthusiasm than skill here, right? But that doesn't mean anything about your worth and your value and your inherent worth. You are good enough. So this is about something in the real world and a full, full true understanding of your value and your worth and you've really got to get in touch with that and listen to that because even though something may look may look a little simple and a little drab on the outside we know we know that Jane Eyre was this amazing person inside even though she kept you know even though the world couldn't see that so you need to have this confidence that you are good enough and you are up to this task of getting out of here and of, of, um, of this whole thing you are up to it you can do it um, and you're good enough and you, you yeah okay you, you lack of skill got you there but look you're doing this internal work you're you're really doing a lot of self-reflection getting in touch with your own intuition and your own vibe here um, you're going to be finding you know so much richness um, within here so it does this doesn't have anything to do with worth this has to do with learning lessons and learning about um, and being more prepared next time and and developing skills that's all so um south node don't let your past hold you back i love this because this is your past yeah okay that happened you lacked skill you lacked um knowledge and information um okay but don't let it don't let it color this you're just a really beautiful soul here you're just very very loving full of full of life and full of joy and uh, full of love and you are good enough of course you are of course you are you're here the universe went through a lot of effort to get you here so even though you may have made these mistakes um, don't don't let them hold you back you are good enough okay um, not good enough but you are enough you know you you are you have value and worth that has nothing to do with the mistakes that you've made in the um, and the um, the situations you find yourself in all right oh we have the world at the bottom of course we do all right uh leo this is your past your present your inner landscape what's at issue your environment your to-do list and your possible outcome okay i love this past for you because this this references um this number 44 stranded um card a little bit as as far as the enthusiasm with which you embarked on an effort you in the past you had this nine of cups you won some awards you um, look at all these trophies you were very proud very proud of your work very proud of who you were very proud of um, your emotions and and everything you you had this winner vibe to you you felt very much winning the winningest winner as a Jenny B Jones might say um, and so you were very, very proud. You won something. You had something. It was yours. It was very fulfilling. 
uh, wish fulfillment here and here it is and you wanted the world to see you were happy with you know here I've got my ship I'm heading out set and sail you want to come down for the christening everybody watch me christen my new ship and here I go so you felt really really good about yourself and really proud and 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 you've, so you have that in the past you know what that feels like uh, in your present situation though you have the seven of cups you have sort of an inner demon uh, winding its way through your emotions and your feelings in your cups and somebody here isn't quite what they seem there's a mask this could be you this could be somebody else but someone this just isn't it's it can be really overwhelming and it can be that the things may not be what they seem right now and um, you may have you know you still have a lot of cups here you have a lot of your trophies here uh, this dragon appears to have eaten a couple because um, you have the nine of cups and then now we're going down to the seven of cups so things have have decreased and are not going well right now you have this um, dangerous sort of treacherous thing right here things aren't what they seem um, you got an inner demon lurking here that's definitely up to no good I mean you could this could be your own inner self this could be your own um reptile i mean not like reptile um the reptilian brain of just um just uh focused on on your survival um there's some sort of lack of compassion going on here and there somebody feels the need to hide something um and to to hide themselves behind a mask and to to um so there there's those cups here but they're not they're not nothing's quite what it seems and it seems a little treacherous and a little dangerous and I think we're referencing like ta-da I'm sitting out on a voyage oops uh something's gone wrong here so something's clearly gone wrong um in your inner landscape we have um your hopes and fears column you could be hoping and fearing for justice um this fairness this truth this balance um, you could be maybe looking to get relief or help from or hoping for help from the legal system um, hoping for some wisdom you could also be afraid of something happening or something um, coming back to bite you in the ass I mean because um, hopes and fears um, and this is the topic is justice so we like both sides of that coin or, or both sides of that coin are going to be present in pretty much every situation you can both be hoping for justice and yet also be slightly scared of what it's going to mean or you can be afraid of justice because of what you've done um, and um, and yet also some part of you has a little hope we all have that push pull and we tend to um, when we're holding the coin we're actually holding both sides even though we may only be looking at one so that's something to consider with any card in this position is um, what side are you falling on what's the most dominant side and then trying to understand how how the the side that of that coin that you can't see the um, fearing justice you know you may be hoping justice but there might be part of you that's not and if you don't believe me that's okay that's fine but um but it is worth exploring I think um sometimes I can very clearly say nope I am really not interested I'm not experiencing the other side of the hope fear coin um but other times I'm like oh yeah that might be there so it's just something to consider so um it's on justice is on your mind fairness truth um trying to find some wisdom uh, wanting things to be fair uh, really on your mind here um, at issue is this two of swords so you may be coming out of denial or a very stubborn or somebody is coming out of a very stubborn face because in the upright this is very stubborn um, I'm not going to see this I don't want to I'm I've got my swords up here I don't want to see I don't want to look I'm blocking this whole situation I don't want anything to do with this um, it can be like a, a more subtle thing like a denial but um, you know which is part of our brain knows something and then the other part of our brain walls it off because the rest of us isn't ready to know that um, but this you're coming out of denial somebody here is coming out of denial is taking off this mask is unblocking so that would normally be good but it's creating an issue and one of the issues I think it could be creating is shame or embarrassment um, okay you're seeing the situation now for what it is and boy is it embarrassing how did you get here 
how did you get here? And you, I think you're embarrassed to just even see it yourself, the denial that, that you've been in. I think that that could be a, an issue here. Um, and so I think, you know, don't, don't be embarrassed. Everyone fucks up and denial's here for a reason. Denial's here because we weren't ready for the truth. Um, we could see it with some part of ourselves, um, but we weren't ready to face it. And that could be for a variety of really great reasons and also some really shitty ones too. <laughs> but some great reasons might be, I don't have the resources to deal with this. I don't have the, um, the financial resources to deal with this problem. I don't have the emotional resources to deal with this problem. I, I don't know what to do if I were to see it honestly and clearly. Um, also, you know, just being stubborn and kind of like, I don't want, I don't, I'm not coming out of my ship because I'm a little worried about, because I don't want to be humiliated and embarrassed. So, but you might be experiencing some humiliation and embarrassment and that actually is causing a problem for you. So I would encourage you to be really gentle with yourself. Um, denial happens to everybody it's actually a very useful thing that our subconscious is do for us to help us um you know you may have had other things you were having to deal with so so that had to go on the back burner while you were dealing with more um urgent issues or maybe obvious issues that denial wasn't going to work for okay at uh, in your environment you have this page of wands you have learning about intuition learning about creativity there's some sort of like educational environment around you that has to do with art creativity um intuition and maybe even love maybe you're learning some things about love and this is around you is this this curiosity i mean look this guy's or girl whatever who cares um this person is in this desert so they found this um this wand the stick and there's not a tree anywhere i mean there might be a tree um behind the cameraman here but, or the artist but i mean and so it's just this marvelous amazing somewhat miraculous so i'm hopeful about this um that we're going to find some sort of miraculous inspiration here but that's the environment around you is um, learning a lot of curiosity um, it could be yeah it could be school could be classes something like that there's a lot of uh, a learning environment about wands about curia about inspiration possibly sexuality um, and there's a marveling aspect to it and a, and a studying very studious aspect to it and your to-do list is the lovers here hmm. I said that without thinking about it <laughs> um the lovers i was just thinking about the lovers this morning really about romeo and juliet and the star-crossed lovers because a, a true path of love like this the lovers is talking about um can true love conquer all like can we um the love that um, that doesn't make sense, that our communities don't support, or that um, that doesn't really have a lot of doesn't make sense and doesn't have a lot of clarity, or doesn't have well, I'm not having a lot of clarity right now, but it doesn't it's it doesn't fit on the spreadsheet, it doesn't fit on the pro con list. It's this it's this love that's outside of that, and we're often asked to make those choices, be they about relationships, careers, stuff like that, like. Are we going to go with something that's genuinely our, our soul connection or are we going to stay with the beaten path because Romeo and Juliet both staying within you know the confines of what their family set up for them is what was okay and who was okay to love and what was a, the right path you know then we don't end up with where we ended up with the tragedy we ended up with then there's no issue the families are fine so but this is a choice to an uh, um, that you need to be examining and I think really getting in touch with your internal self here about um, are you going to choose the Romeo and Juliet story knowing that it can end in tragedy and it can be very difficult um, to choose this path that doesn't have the family support or the cultural support or all of that it can be very difficult to do that so the lovers presents us with a choice of going with um, the path of heart uh, that is going to be more difficult and we all know that or are we going to um, choose a lover that our family already approves of and or a career path or is, are we going to pick the path that already has um, 
approval. So, um, so this is a question, and I think you're being asked to actually pick the path of heart, pick the path that's bursting forth with love and joy and, um, and uh, that this, this thing that may not look very good on the outside are very you know promising on the outside like Romeo and Juliet and it wasn't very promising turned out tragedy but hopefully we can all keep our heads here and um and not not be you know 13 14 year old kids uh cruising around with poison in our pockets so um so but this is I think talking about this like there's this there's this thing here that that's that's full of life and love but it doesn't it looks like it could be a little harsh it looks like it could almost be a prison but it's not it's this it's so and you know that and so this is asking you to to go in you know to come into that energy of choosing the path of heart and choosing okay so yeah you started out with a path of heart and it didn't go well okay but let's consider trying it again um don't not let your past hold you back past decisions hold you back so and then one of our possible outcomes is we have another page so we've got two pages here um two cups the nine of cups and then and then a bunch of our cups get stolen or taken or eaten by this monster and we end up in the seven of cups which is confusing and scary and overwhelming energy and then all around you is this learning environment learning about our wands and our creativity and our um, passion and then a possible outcome is the page of cups so this is um, okay so if you do take this choice to go with something more a more passionate or intuitive decision um, then we are learning here about our emotions I mean there's a, there's a surprising fish in the cup um, and she hasn't dropped the cup but she's not quite sure about it so you could end up learning about some new feelings learning about a new relationship um, or or a renewal of a relationship and looking at these feelings and this love and this cup of emotion and it's got something's very surprising in it that's not what you expected um, but you're gonna be very curious about it and you're not gonna throw it out you're just gonna be wondering about it and there might be some tumultuous emotions all around you it might be some unsettled energy all around you but you're gonna hold steady and um, be very curious about this new cup and this could be a career a person something like that uh, or a relationship or something even even milder because we do deal with archetypes here with the um, tarot deck and sometimes um, simple messages can come in real strong and real big and part of that's me the reader just being a little over dramatic sometimes and part of it is just the nature of the tarot so but there's going to be coming in in some opportunity to learn about love learn about your emotions and as you're learning about your emotions and your feelings there's going to be something surprising popping out like a fish or a big giant flower popping out of these feelings and you're going to have a lot of curiosity i can't imagine anything better than these pages as far as having so much curiosity about life about our feelings about what and just asking ourselves questions and 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 being very 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 curious about our feelings and where they're coming from and where they're popping up from so okay so mistakes were made in the past you kind of were really gung-ho about some things but you've done some or you're doing some deep self-reflection um, don't let your past hold you back you are enough you are enough all right Leo I hope you have a wonderful week I just kind of cut you off there but anyway um, I just felt done with the reading but uh, thank you for your likes, comments, and subscribes. I really appreciate it. They're very encouraging for me and they help other people find the channel too. So, um, okay, now I feel like we properly closed down this reading.